Hi, I'm Art Lembo, and I wanted to show you a product I've been working with called MapStore that's made by the GeoSolutions Group. And MapStore is a framework that allows you to create web maps, dashboards, and even map stories. So what I wanted to do in a sort of one-take video was to see how long it would take me to download, install, run, and then build my own dashboard. Now to do that, I would go to the GeoSolutions page under their quick release guide, and then I would click on their latest release. And here you can see there's something called MapStore 2-2040102 bin.zip. It's a 472 megabyte file. So that's a little bit big for what I want to use. I'm going to delete the old version that I have here. And what I'm going to do is go to my downloads document. So I downloaded this. I didn't want to take time in the video to do this. It's, it's 310 right now. So let's see where we wind up uh, before this is, is over. So here's my map store bin directory for the binary executable. I'll click in here. Let's copy all, control A, control C, and let's go to C temp MS. So I just buried this thing in my temp drive. So let me paste that. So while that's pasting, again, it's 470 megabytes that have to be pasted. I want to show you a website uh, that's created by the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative. And this website actually shows uh, poultry houses on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. You can come in here and you can see all the poultry houses. I can zoom to an area and I can click on a particular poultry house and get some information about that location. You can also see on this page that we have some uh, bar charts that talk about the operational status. And what I can do here is I can click on this and you can see now just Delaware is selected or I can just select Maryland and this changes in response to the actual records that are on the map. Uh, I think I'm yep we're all done here so I'm going to come in and I'm going to go into my temp ms directory and I'm going to first uh, and don't really need to do this but in case anything was running in the background I'm just going to shut down map store that's done and then I'm going to type map store Startup. So what this is going to do is start up a Tomcat server. So it takes a minute or two, and, and again, we're, we're now at one minute. So I, it may have taken two or three minutes uh, to download the 400 megabyte file, but you can see it just takes a minute or so to copy that file into my directory. So what I'm going to do next is come into a new browser, and I'm going to type localhost. And that gets me into MapStore. So now MapStore is running. Uh, so I, I've got a Tomcat server working on my PC. So I'm going to log in next. And here I'm going to type admin, admin. And again, just to show you that uh, we're not kidding around when it's a, a one take and I just freshly downloaded it. The default password is admin, admin. And it's saying you better yeah, you want, want to change that password. For now, with this video, I'm not going to worry about that. So now this is Map Store, and I can create a map, a dashboard, or a geo story. I'm going to create a new map. So here it comes up, and I want to add a layer to the map. And, and here we have, uh, I can create, I can select a bunch that, that already come by default. But I'm going to create a new one, a WMS, and I'll call this Poultry Map. And I'm going to type in localhost. There we go. And that's done. And now I'm going to search through here. And there's a few WMS sites on there, but I'm going to select the poultry map. We add that. That's done. And now I'm going to save my map. And we'll call this poultry map. And for permissions, I want to let everyone view this. So that's done. The other thing I can do is I can show my legend as well. So this is a now a web map that we have. So let's save that. All right, let's go back to our home page. And now I want to create a new dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is add a map. And I already have a map. It's called Poultry Map. So let's add this. 
we'll include our our legend and we'll call this our poultry map of Delmarva. Save that. There we go. And I'm going to save this whole thing and we'll call this um, poultry dashboard. I'll refresh that. And again, like I said, I'm going to do this um, without stopping the video. So I ran into a little problem there. Let's do it again. Poultry map. All right, that's good enough. And now let's save it. Okay, done. So now it's saved. All right, so now that I have my map in here, one of the things I'm going to want to do next is add a widget to the dashboard. So let's add a table. Now in this table, again, I'm going to have to create a new WMS and call it poultry table. And we'll go with our local host again. And we will select poultry. I don't need the object ID and I don't really care about the image layer. We'll save that and we'll call this poultry attributes. And even with the mistake, we're it's like about six minutes into this video. And I'm going to want to make this a little bit smaller like that. Pull this down. Let's do this. Slow this down a little. There we go. So that's my map. Next thing I want to do is why don't we add a chart? So in this case, uh, now it remembers it. So I'm going to come down to my poultry map. And for this chart, we're going to use the poultry, the x attribute. Why don't we make it operational status? And the y attribute, we want to be count. Not county, count. There we go. That's done. And we can call this poultry house chart. And I can put a description in there if I want, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that right now. Move that up here. I'm using a laptop, so I'm playing a little bit with my screen real estate. That's good. So now you can see the poultry houses based upon uh, their the poultry, about their operational status. Let's add another one. And let's create another chart. And this time, let's create a pie chart. I want this to be a pie chart. And again, we can select the attribute. We're going to group it by operational status. And we'll use the count. There it is. All right, that's good. And for layout, let's scroll down a little. Let's display the legend. There we go. I could go in and change the colors too to match the map, but I'm, I'm, again, I'm not going to take time to do that. And we'll call this uh, poultry pie chart. Let's move this over here. Make it a little bigger. And again, because of my screen real estate, I've got to put that there. Let's save this. Again, open source product, I just want to make sure we're doing things correctly. So it's saved, but now it's not very interesting. I can, I can click on things here and get information. But what will make this more interesting is why don't I tie this map to 
one of the other objects. So here I want to connect it to the map. We're going to have this attached to the poultry site. And now I can do something like type in uh, MD for Maryland. And now you can see the Maryland data is only being shown. Or I can type Wicomico. And now Wicomico County is in there. Let's keep the pie chart where it is. I want to change this. I'll go to edit. And I want to connect this to another widget. Which one? Which one do I want? The table? I could connect to the table, but instead I'm going to connect it to the actual map. We'll save that. Now, when I zoom into the map, this data changes based upon the zoom level of the map. Let's come back in here again. I'll leave it at that. Let's save this. And again, I can type DE. And notice the map changes, so this chart also changes. So the next thing I want to do is let's go to an incognito window. Go to my dashboard. Oh, and it's not letting me see anything. Oh, actually it is. I, I, I did set it up for everyone. Oh, no, for dashboards, no, I don't have one. So let's come back in here. Let's go to Save. And now I set up a new rule. Everyone can view this. Let's save it. Perfect. I'm going to copy that, go into my dashboard. We'll skip it. And now this is the dashboard I created. It's taken 11 minutes from, from download, install, starting it up, and building it. And again, apologize for the screen size. I'm using my laptop. For the moment but this is the interactivity that you're going to see with someone using this dashboard All right we can type in wicomico and you can again you can see that this changes along with it and when i zoom in a little further this also changes so i can come back out and return this off great now the other thing that i can do which is which is actually kind of cool is I can export this entire dashboard. So I'm creating this at home on my laptop. I, I could put in time to color this and change all the fonts and just put hours into making this look like a really nice dashboard. And then I'm gonna export this and export it as a JSON. So it's done that, it's this poultry dash. So let's go back to the home and yeah, we'll leave this and I wanna create a new dashboard. So let's import a file and here's that poultry dash that I just downloaded we'll open it and boom we've got a new dashboard already up and running uh, so that way I can bring this to a I can work on it in one location export it bring it to a client site and everything is already prepared for me which is a really nice feature uh, the other thing we can do which also is nice it's kind of built in is I can right click this data I can show the chart data or I can download the data. So these tools are already built in. So you can see we are, you know, just about 13 minutes in. So I did all of this in virtually no time at all to, to download, uh, copy the entire uh, executable directory onto my PC. I'm not running a web server or anything special. I just hit the startup and Map Store will, will spin up a Tomcat server so I can now see the rest of the world or the rest of the world can see me. Uh, if I want to set up an IP address, I can do that as well. Uh, so it's pretty easy to use. I'm going to tr continue to plug away at learning this product, making uh, map stories and also making some other web maps. And I'm also talking with the people in GeoSolutions Group about some of the features that they may add that will ho hopefully meet the needs that I have for creating dashboards. So thanks for watching and just uh, keep an eye out for some of my other videos.